Ren, I'm Canadian, and I changed my life after coming to London to study and to build my business. When Ren came to us, we could see that she had something special. We just knew that we had to hone her skills. This is the story of my amazing journey. I grew up in rural Ontario, and definitely when I was young, I was quite sensitive. As I moved into my teenage years, I started to experience depression. I also didn't think I had a future. I never thought I'd get past 20. I spent time in a hospital in a care home, and when I look back, I can see that I was a little girl who also had sensory overload. Anything overly stimulating with lots of light does not necessarily suit me. But I've realized that my sensitivity is a power. By tapping into that sensitivity, I've built a design business that is changing people's lives. Ren was almost able to understand my brand better than I was able to. I say Ren can definitely sense what I needed in the space. So this is a private gym that we're designing with Harry. The idea is to create a space that feels really healthy. I see some nice soft seating, so we might have a nice armchair here, possibly a nice curving sofa. We want it to be a very special experience. She's looking to break new ground. She's trailblazing in what she does. We just knew that we had to help her materialize her career goals. What's different about the UCL MBA is that it wants to help people find what they do best to forge new paths forward. I decided I wanted to do an MBA because I felt that I could use some sharper business skills and also the confidence, I think, that can come with an MBA. I think Ren has a very bright future. She looks to have a really positive and constructive and soothing effect on the people that she works with and for. So this is a house that I designed in London. The client has a very stressful, demanding job and wanted a space that he could come to to relax. So I brought over, you know, tons of fabrics and materials for him to touch and play with. This interior now matches the client's sensorial needs. It's understanding how the client is affected by space and then really curating something that really, really supports wellness for them. The color palette, you know, the soft blues, the ochres, all of these things, I think, signal relaxing. It's been a long journey. I had a difficult time as a teenager, but now I can see how my sensitivity lets me design spaces that create a deep sense of well-being. With the backing of my UCL MBA, this is a journey that's going places.